A very good evening to all our viewers joining across here at the island nation of Sri Lanka and across the globe. This is the second round clash here at the Colombo Racecourse between the defending champions Candy Sports Club and the hosts CHNFC. It's going to be an absolutely cracker here at the racecourse with uh, Candy coming in after a hard fought, gruesome loss against CRNFC in their final clash of round one and of course the HNFC after fighting hard against Air Force and police in their last encounters are playing here at the Colombo Racecourse and uh, I'm joined with uh, Abdullah Yusuf uh, here at the Combox. Abdullah, it's an absolutely warm and humid condition here at the Colombo Racecourse. Yes, uh, good afternoon Murad and good afternoon to all the viewers. Yes, it's a very uh, steamy conditions here at the uh, Racecourse. CHNFC and uh, Candy Sports Club are going through their warm-up routines. I'm sure the routines won't be too long. Both uh, teams uh, will be desperately looking forward to putting in a good performance. Candy desperately will be looking forward to trying and staying in contention for the league. A win is an absolute must. And I'm sure they'll be looking for that all-important bonus point as well to narrow the lead against CRNFC. CRNFC yesterday coming off a hard-fought victory against the Havelock Sports Club, 12 points to 9. Unable to get the bonus point, Murad, so that uh, could have ramifications later on. I'm sure Candy will be keeping an eye on that as well. But first things first, they've got to ensure that they put in a good performance today and get that win. Here's the weather forecast for today. It's uh, 28 degrees Celsius, the maximum temperature. It feels more like uh, 30 out here at the race course. Of course, wind speeds uh, uh, 30 kilometers per hour blowing from the left to right of your screen. It's very, very sunny and humid out here at Colombo here and especially at the race course. And like you were saying, Abdullah, uh, the last time these two teams met was at uh, Nithavela and the season opening game for these two teams were at Candy. Uh, after a pretty tough battle, won 22-13, where CH gave a really good fight against the host team at the Nithavala Fortress. So, this time around here in Colombo, uh, Candy travelling back again here. It's uh, going to be a, a pretty uh, tough task. Uh, what do you think of that? Yes, I think it's going to be tough. We also have to keep in mind, uh, if memory serves me right, that first game between these two teams up in Nithavala, it was... Uh, quite the contrast to what we are seeing today. It was very wet and muddy conditions up at Nittavala and it was the early on in the tournament as well. So both these teams now have got about seven games under their belt. They seem to have settled into their combinations a bit. Uh, Candy no doubt will be smarting after that heavy defeat uh, up in Nittavala against CRNFC. They will want to put things right, get in a really good performance today and get a good win. CHNFC have uh, done reasonably well this season. They managed to create an upset or two of their own, have come close on a couple of occasions against the bigger teams and will definitely be looking at a big scalp today against the defending champions. As you can see, the Gymkhana club, the CH lads uh, warming up before the big clash out here. Uh, it's going to be a very tough battle for both these two teams, especially CH uh, Abdullah, they are in the top four, but they had some very close calls in their last two encounters, especially against Air Force and Police. The Police game, uh, it was a match to be forgotten for the number of penalties. So many penalties given away by the winning team CH, but nonetheless, they managed to secure and defend themselves to clinch that top four spot and already sitting at number three in the points table. So, uh, interestingly, Candy has uh, secured... Uh, the most number of bonus points uh, compared to all the teams so that is a plus pointer in their hands uh, whereas CR uh, aiming to lay their hands uh, on the silverware of the league title since 1998 yeah that's right but uh, there's plenty to play for second round just starting we now realize uh, how close this uh, cup segment is going to be going by yesterday's game it was very much in the balance eventually CRNFC cuts here driving mall just managing to pip it at the end so there's really uh, nothing much to choose between these teams who turns up on the day is uh, going to be a key factor candy need to keep we need to keep in mind that their remaining three games they'll have to come down to colombo not an easy task uh, from their point of view i'm sure they'll be just taking it game by game and uh, just trying to get in good performance because i'm sure that uh, lackluster first half 
up in Itawala really uh, shook their confidence quite a bit. And I'm sure they'll want to put that right with a really clinical performance today. Of course, Abdullah, with that uh, short brief, we'll cross over to a commercial break. And we have some amazing action-packed game here with C CHNFC taking on the Visitors Candy Sports Club here at the Colombo Racecourse. Stay tuned. India, or will India wheel their mind? The cricketing showdown of the year. England takes on India in an epic test series that promises passion, rivalry, and unforgettable moments. England Tour of India, 2nd February to 11th March, live on the Papare TV and Dialogue Viewer, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. First and exclusive. Music fades. But art is for keeps. Dominic Toretto, you're about to learn all about fear. Boom. This is incredible. Sick. And it's all ours. If you can get this team to the Special Olympics Finals, you might be ready to be back in the NBA. First and exclusive. All new on Saturdays. Prima Kutumi, Pantamai! Hey, have you heard about Z? Z, Z! We KYC. Easy! Mobile banking. Crazy! Education loans and salary advances. Amazing! Introducing the Digital Youth Account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Hot and spicy fun by Bhagavati Varakaranda. We took a remake, Karanda, Tavinda. Hot and spicy fun by Bhagavati Varakaranda. We took a remake, Karanda, Tavinda. Fun, 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 the Turanda. Kottumi, Kiki, Kalenda. Prima Kottumi, Fantamai. Harmful bacteria. Nippon Paint Medifresh, a powerful combination of silver and zinc ions. Nippon Paint, the coatings expert. <laughs> Introducing Neos Pay, a fun way to make payments from your Neos app. For the fun of paying, hashtag Neos Paid. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved, Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. It's quite an
Introducing NeosPay, a fun way to make payments from your Neos app. For the fun of paying, hashtag NeosPay. Your clan, all the samurai, they need you now more than ever. What did you see? It's big. We're gonna make it home. Make sure you're not late for dinner. Buckle up. New Year will be met with fanfare. No one's going to sleep. There'll be fireworks all around. I need all kinds of food. Even ice trays will be in short supply. No stone will be left unturned. The first T20 challenge of the new year is here. Presenting DP World ILT20 Season 2. Live on the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. So welcome back to race course. Both teams yet uh, going through their warm-ups. It's a very hot and humid uh, day here at uh, race course. Really be interesting to see how uh, Candy Sports Club adapt to these conditions. Generally, uh, the humidity does play a role in how they perform. I'm sure, CHNFC will want to use that to their advantage. Try and start the game off on a high tempo and apply pressure on Candy Sports Club. Candy will be under a bit of pressure. They just cannot afford uh, to drop any games like they did last week. At up in Nittawala, went down to uh, CRNFC, 38 points to 26. So I don't think anyone quite saw that coming. And uh, the next game was uh, between Police and Air Force. Police emerging victorious in that game. Although they will be uh, battling it out for plate honours uh, in this league. The third game was between Army Sports Club and CHNFC up in Panagoda. CHNFC just managing to pull that off in a very closely contested uh, en encounter. And Havelock Sports Club overcoming uh, Navy Sports Club 39 points to 26 at Havelock Park. And of course, uh, the points table out here. CRNFC sitting on top. Comfortably after having seven out of seven wins with Candy Sports Club uh, one down, even though having more bonus points at seven. So 41 37 is the point fact out here. And CHNFC on third place, battling it out with Havelock Sports Club with stiff competition coming in from them. And of course, like you said, Abdullah, police will be very agitated that they were eyeing that top four spot with a, a rejuvenated outfit uh, under Coach Nilfer. But they are on the fifth place with Air Force, Army and of course Navy still fighting for that all-important W this season. Navy has been uh, having a dismal season this time around. Yes, they've really uh, struggled with the exodus of a lot of their players uh, to the leading Colombo clubs. Just need to keep in mind that this is the points table at the end of the first round. It doesn't include uh, yesterday's game between CRNFC and Havelocks. So these are the top try scorers thus far. Uh, Lasindu Karuna Tilaka, the uh, CRNFC number eight, uh, leads that tally with six tries. He's followed by uh, Oradi on equal terms with uh, Hiranta Pereira, the police centre three quarter, followed by uh, Prashant Madhusanka, who will be in action today along with uh, the two army lads, Lasanta Kumara and Ashen Bandara. Interesting to note, uh, Abdullah, the bottom four team players in the, are in the top three of the top try scorers. There's been some pretty good action, especially army playing with some lot of vigor, a lot of flair coming in from their backs especially, uh, but uh, getting that all-important win 
factor has been coming to bite them back uh, in the season. Of course, Siranza Pereira making a switch to the Police Sports Club, equaling with Lassandu Karnathilaka, who's been having a dream season this time around after switching from Havis to the London Place Club. Yeah, so these are the top uh, point scorers uh, after the first round. Tenuka Nanayakala, who has been absolutely brilliant for the London Place lads, uh, leads that tally with 59 points, very closely followed by Tarinda Ratwatta. Hirusha Netmina has also been very good uh, at fullback for CHNFC and has been very good from the tee. Samuel Maduanta has been consistent as ever for uh, Hablock Sports Club and also has managed to top the 50 point mark this season. And is followed by uh, Army skipper Ashen Bandara with 43 points. Samuel, of course, putting over all the points yesterday for the heavies. Nine points coming off his boot. Almost had the game in their hands. Uh, and uh, Madhuanta back in action after a pretty off day with the boots in his previous game. But uh, nonetheless, uh, heavies in the fray, fighting for survival here in the top four as we are about to witness the clash here. CH. Their last huddle getting in with Candy Sports Club here at Colombo under very, very humid conditions. Yes, so it'll be interesting to see how uh, Candy particularly fight back from their dismal performance uh, in that uh, encounter against CINFC. They will definitely want to put in a much more clinical performance. Also, I think what they'll definitely look forward is to start well, isn't it? Uh, they just uh, did not come off the blocks as fast as they want to, would have wanted to uh, against CRNFC and that definitely cost them the game. They just cannot afford uh, that kind of performance today against CHNFC. CHNFC have been rather inconsistent. They've had their good days but just haven't been able to put that consistent performance. But they'll definitely be up for today's game. Uh, they'll want to definitely get the scalp of uh, Candy Sports Club because that would definitely give them an opportunity to probably rise further up in the league. So, uh, all in all, a lot to play for in today's game and it'll be interesting to see how uh, who rather will uh, come up crumbs. Yes, Abil, I, I think uh, Candy had a shocker of a start uh, within 11 seconds last uh, time around in Itavala. Malik Ruberu's blitz try that was just uh, took the momentum away from the first half but they showed how they can come back in the second half with quick back-to-back -back tries, especially uh, Chaturanga and uh, Nigel Ratwate uh, coming in as uh, impact players, impacting the second half and they showed that they are always dangerous in their second half comeback but they couldn't match that Sia's resilience They Sia just wanted to win that uh, after 2001 so that was a 23 year long wait in Nittavara for the CR lads and Candy will definitely be eyeing this encounter. They want to prove, especially uh, to their fans who have already uh, filled the part of the grandstand. I'm pretty sure it's the most of the Candy fans are here uh, to support their team at the grandstands. And this is Candy. One last huddle just before the kickoff, and we will be back with some action later. Yeah, so we're going for a quick commercial break and we'll see you on the side, other side uh, in time for the kickoff and we'll have the team sheets as well. The new year will be met with fanfare. No one's going to sleep. There'll be fireworks all around. And eat all kinds of food. Even ice trays will be in short supply. No stone will be left unturned. The first T20 challenge of the new year is here. Presenting DP World ILT20 Season 2. Live on the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. England back to conquer India? Or will India wield their money? The cricketing showdown of the year. England takes on India in an epic test series that promises passion, rivalry and unforgettable moments. England Tour of India, 2nd February to 11th March. Live on the Papare TV and Dialogue Viewer, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. It's quite an atmosphere. 
Rugby's greatest championship. Triple ball to set. the excitement real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action Sulankia Frida Vikashane Mythic at Noviti Navitam at the King Summer King Frida Television A Sampraptia The Papare TV Dala Television Nalikang Ekasia Visihaya Ose Sri Lanka Anka Eke Frida Nalikaba Club Rugby is back on the Papare. Eight contenders, one champion. Nippon Paint Rugby League, 1st December onwards. Live on the Papare TV, Dialogue TV Channel 126, Dialogue View App and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Presenting EP World ILT 20 Season 2. Start January 19th, 8 p.m. Live on the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Eight contenders, one champion. Nippon Paint Rugby League. 1st December onwards. Live on the Papare TV, Dialogue TV Channel 126, Dialogue View App and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. First and exclusive. Music fades. But art is for keeps. Dominic Toretto, you're about to learn all about fear. Boom. This is incredible. Sick. And it's all ours. If you can get this team to the Special Olympics Finals, you might be ready to be back in the NBA. First and exclusive. All new on Saturdays. Season 1, Danuma. Season 2, Charita Avalia. Season 3, Krida Viplava. The history maker of sport. Innovative. Incomparable. Unleashing an experience. The Papare TV. Now exclusively on Dialogue TV channel number 126, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel.
Welcome back to race course as uh, we see both teams uh, getting on to the field. CHNFC and uh, Candy Sports Club will be lining up uh, to be introduced uh, to the guests as we have on our screens here the Candy Sports Club team. Charles Praveen, Udita Jayasurya and Malita Vijay Sundara will be the front row. Thilina Bandara and Vevala Pandita will be the second rows. The third row will comprise of uh, Wajid Faumi, Shanuka Bevikrama and Jason Disanaika will be the number eight. An interesting switch uh, bringing regular fullback Srinath Suri Bandara to his uh, pet position at scrum half. He will pair off with the experienced Nigel Ratwata. The rest of uh, the back line, Dilan Ekanaika, Tharinda Ratwata, Lavanga Pereira, Kavindu Pereira and uh, former Kingswoodian Asir Senui Ratna will come into the fullback position. The replacements uh, will be Veera Singh, Athana Goda, Kudali Ge, Danushka Ranjan, Farid Veera Sekar, Tenna Kohn and Diluk Shadange. So uh, to take you uh, through the CHNFC team, joining me in commentary is uh, Sudarshana Piris. Uh, good evening Sudarshana. It's good to e you to take over the uh, CHNFC outfit. Good evening Abdullah. As we take a look at uh, the CHNFC team, uh, Priyadarshana Dasanayika, Charit Silva, Gayan Jayaman and Nirosh Pereira making up the, uh, the locks. Gihan Madhushanka, Gimana Silva and Janit Laksar. The third row, Malik Shapereira will be uh, the halfback with Rohit Rajapaksha playing as the first 5 eight. Uh, Chamat Kilan and Tanuj Maduranga will be the wingers for CHNFC. Avant Ali with Abzal Mohammed in the centre field and Hirusha Nedmina in the number 15 jersey. Madhusanka Chamodita, Chaturanga, Ranasinghe, Gamage, Malita, Dilshan and Ranasinghe making up the bench for CHNFC. Absolutely important game for both these teams. CHNFC will want to make sure that they finish the season on a high and what better way to finish it than a beating candy and getting a really good start to this super round as we take a look at the two teams uh, making their way to the middle they will want to make sure that uh, they hit the ground running candy of course coming into this game in an unusual position Abdullah they've lost a the game it's been a while since it, since they've lost the game lost a game actually it's been 22 years since they lost a the game in candy so they will be hoping they can capitalize here at the race course. Arno Shanti is going to be the man in the middle with Ravin Alexander and Tilina Ratnaika, the assistant referees on the sides. Yes, that's right, Sudarshan. And it's not just the loss, isn't it? It's the way they lost, which I'm sure which will irk the team and the coaching staff. Got an opportunity to put it right. They just cannot afford to drop another game okay. if they are to re remain in contention for the league. Need to keep in mind that the remaining three games will be down in Colombo, which also just adds uh, to the challenge which uh, faces the Candy Lads. Here's Ratwa take it with the kick off. Good high hanging kick. Kicks deep and uh, CHNFC straight away looking to run. They're going to play expansive rugby because uh, that's the way to beat Candy Sierra and FC have shown a template on how to do that and uh, their London players neighbours will be hoping that they can try and do the same Rajapaksa putting the ball to boot Ekanaika deep in the pocket and uh, Seneviratna returns the kick and uh, that's a massive mistake here's Candy pouncing on that ball Back of the hand pass uh, to Dinar Lekanaika who makes the ball available. Candy now in the opposition 22. Disanaika playing halfback. Ratwate with a cross kick. Uh, Kavindu Pereira couldn't collect it. Did it bounce uh, behind him? No. Lost forward says the referee but that was uh, a positive move by Candy. And uh, this is exactly what they will want to do. Use the width of the field because with their backs they can really spark things up. It's really unfortunate from their point of view. Some good vision by uh, Ratwatar to find uh, Kavindu Pereira. Unfortunately, not being able to hold on to that uh, cross kick. But uh, just the momentum uh, which uh, Candy would have wanted to start. It would have been ideal if they'd managed to get over the try line, but not uh, so. Now, this is going to be an interesting part of the game, the scrum, isn't it, Sudarshana? You thought that Candy. Probably slightly unlucky in that game against Sia. Seemed to have had a little bit of dominance, but uh, probably not rewarded for it. So they all got to adapt on how the referee is interpreting the scrum. 
So a bit of a tight scrum. We can see a CH applying a bit of pressure, but the ball does come out. Rajapaksha looks to find touch, doesn't do so. Kavindu Pereira collects. Surya Bandara makes a break, links up. Abhay Vikramar's ball, that's going to be a penalty because uh, that will be considered as intentional knock-on and that time the guilty party was uh, the number 11 from uh, CHNFC, Shatumina. Interesting call to be made here. Are they going for points or will they go for touch? Seems like Candy wants to make sure that they go to touch. Line out versus a real problem against CH uh, CR and FC Abdullah. That's something that they will want to work at. Take a look at Surya Bandara. Lovely bit of work. Sanushka Bevikrama trying to offload while going to the ground straight away. Hand coming in from uh, the opposition team. Uchita Jaya Surya has been uh, brought in as the no starting number two. Dilshan Farid was the man who played in that hooker position but uh, had a horror of a game uh, when Candy played last. So uh, the experience of Jaya Surya has been called on. Bandar going up, setting up our candy, marching forward, a big shift from Candy Sports Club, now regrouping Surya Bandar to Ratwat, long cut out pass to Pereira, but uh, CHNFC doing very well with their defensive work, Praveen picking that up and uh, making it tidy for Candy Sports Club. Surya Bandar now in the corner is uh, Ratwat again flying from uh, the defensive line now the CH defenders who are trying to rush things up and not give time to Candy here's Ratwat Pereira to Faumi Faumi on his feet still outside the 22 meters uh, big man Praveen carries the ball forward for Candy Surya Bandar. Now the long cutout pass comes in and uh, Ekanaika in the corner makes the ball available. Ratwate trying to hurry but uh, CH have been guilty of uh, hands inside the ruck. That's a good uh, sequence of play by Candy Sports Club. Making their intentions very clear. I thought uh, not taking uh, the points earlier on showed that uh, they really want uh, to get their game going from the inception itself. Probably keeping an eye on those four tries as well, Sudarshana. Absolutely, Abdullah. I think uh, that's something that they would have been quite pleased uh, of uh, from the last game. Despite going down, they managed to get the four tries. They would have preferred if they could have gotten another bonus point being within seven points. Because uh, the bonus points really do matter as uh, Tilna Bandar goes up. Candy setting it up again. Going forward, going forward. And uh, that will be the first score of the game. Comes through Jason Disanaika who touches down in that number 31 jersey for Candy Sports Club. Just over five minutes and Candy get into the scorebook. Yes, well, just a the start they would have wanted. You can just see in the body language of these Candy lads. They wanted to get off the blocks as quickly as possible and they definitely done so. Created a few phases, went end to end, got the uh, big CH forwards moving across and forth. Managing to get the penalties, getting themselves into good positions to do the driving mall. And uh, Disa Naika, courtesy a good uh, rolling mall by uh, the Candy 8, putting the first points on the board. As we have a look at that replay once again, Bandara collecting it cleanly, managing to get that initial momentum. I don't think CH and FC would, have, would be too pleased the way they tried to defend that mall. Ratwata with the conversion attempt. It's not successful, but nonetheless, Candy Sports Club up five points to nil.
and uh, we'll be looking forward to uh, kicking on from here. Yes, important score for Cannes Sports Club. Uh, Ratwat did not manage to get uh, the connection cleanly when it comes to uh, the conversion. CH and FC, I thought, were quite unlucky uh, in that first game against Cannes Sports Club in the first round. Uh, Abdul Light was uh, a closely fought affair, so CH will be hoping that they can bring that A game on here at home as uh, Rohit Ratwat. Rohit Rajapaksa rather kicks it deep. Surya Bandara with the reply brings play back uh, to the uh, opposition half. An interesting call by Candy to uh, retain Suri at uh, number nine, isn't it? After that, they made that switch in the second half in the CR game. You immediately saw how the tempo of the game was uh, went up a notch or two. So they've made, they've decided to stick with him at that number nine position. Be interesting to see uh, whether that works out over an 80 minute period. Not a clean uh, line out from CHNFC, but they've managed to uh, get the ball back and uh, Tilina Bandar calling it forward for Sia. CH taking time to set it up, get the forwards into the mix as uh, Lee. Had gone into contact. Here's Netumina. Put in the ball to boot. Uh, kick. That's a deep kick. And uh, will be a 50 22. Monster of a kick that. Kavindu Pereira was guilty of not judging it clean clearly. He was in front of the ball. The trajectory of the ball, rather. So good position for CHNFC uh, to attack from. And. Uh, that clearly looks like a set move, uh, Abdullah. That's something that they are going to do, CH. Yes, they will. And also, the conditions here at Race Cross is quite windy and blustery as well. And uh, Candy will take a bit of time to adjust to those conditions. It's important that CH make use of that. Here's the setup by CH and FC. Can they go all the way? The ball had come out, show and go by uh, the halfback. CH forwards now wanting to go forward. Uh, referee playing advantage in favor of uh, CH and FC. Referee Arunashanta has seen something that he is not too happy with. Seems like it might be a high charge having a word with. Uh, Referee Ratnayaka, was that, is that a try though? Let's take a look at that. Oh. Well, yes, uh, that's going to be uh, the opening score for C CH. Who managed to touch down. Played with advantage and straight away CH have equalized. Yes, I think Arun Shanta was on the open side of that play. Some good communication with uh, the assistant referee who uh, spotted it. And CHNFC have struck back immediately. Just shows uh, how important getting into the correct position of the field is going to be in this game. One driving mall being nullified by another. Now Netmina with the conversion attempt. Not struck uh, well enough by Netmina, just going across the post. So the score will remain five points all as we have a look at that replay once again. Referee Adrashanta wanting to have a word with uh, the number two of uh, Candy Sports Club, Jai Sundar. Here's the replay of uh, the try. Uh, this is where they uh, manage to score on the short side. There you go. There you go. That's where it's uh, touched. Candy with the kickoff. And uh, that time, I think the mitigating factor of the player dipping would uh, be uh, saving the Candy defender. So 
Sude Bandar running across, looking for an opening. Good work by uh, CHNFC. The initial tackler needed to move away. That was uh, Gimhana Silva. Yes, so the reason for that call was the fact that the tackler did not roll away. So when he's on the ground, he's impeding the oncoming player from securing position, isn't it? And that's uh, termed as obstruction. So that's why the penalty goes in favor of Candy, despite the oncoming CH player having his hands on the ball at the breakdown. Awantali uh, did everything right, but uh, his teammate was uh, impeding uh, the ball from coming out, like Abdel explained. So Candy Sports Club will be hoping that they can uh, try and capitalize from here on. They've uh, gotten their mark right. Jaya Sundar is through this timer was not collected cleanly by uh, Bandar. Abe Vikram taking it forward. Here's Jason Disanayaka straightening it up for Candy. Ratwate to Tarinda. Ekanayaka tucks it in and uh, that's a quick jackal but uh, again number 24 that time had to move away Chamath Kilan needed to move move fast in order for his tacklers to come and do the work Saratwata so will just uh, put it into touch it'll be another five meter line out so CH forwards will need to do much better than what they did last time around to defend uh, the driving mall as we have a look at that replay once again Ekanayaka coming from his wing on the inside of Ratwata. Can you see? Win the line out and it's a driving mall. They got close. And have they gone over? Yes, they have. Far too easy for Candy Sports Club. CHNFC's uh, mall defense pretty much non existent. Wajid Faumi putting the finishing touches to that line out drive. And Candy Sports Club once again going to the lead. Well, three tries have been scored in this game. All three tries through driving malls. So if you're wondering uh, whether we will have uh, a running rugby, we will. But uh, most of the scoring opportunities seems like will come through the forwards. Very well set up driving mall going straight through. CHNFC having absolutely no answer to that. Ratwate with the conversion. Again, we'll have to make sure that he gets uh, the gauge of the wind, which is moving across field from uh, the top to the bottom of your screens. We'll have to compensate for that and uh, does that absolutely beautifully through the middle. Adds in the two extras. Candy now. 12 points to 5 in the lead. So, so far in this game, both teams have managed to get into positions in the field in order for them to execute their driving malls. As we have a look at that uh, kick once again by Ratwata. Struck it brilliantly to bisect the uprights. So that's what the defensive teams will need to try and avert, allowing the opposition to get into positions where they can execute the driving mall. Netmina to restart the game. Kicks it to Kavindu Pereira, who takes it cleanly. Surya Bandara picks and passes it to Tilna Bandara. Candy seems to be looking to play this game at pace. Ratwatte now puts the ball to boot. That's uh, not a kick that uh, found a lot of distance. CHNFC just five meters away from uh, the Candy 22. Good attacking position for them. It's fair to say that CHNFC will be a little forward dependent with their backs not so experience We're going to the third pod ch setting it up broken away and uh, still going rch and fc quick ball out now to uh, priya darshana 
the veteran. I believe uh, could be the oldest player in the league. Number 17. That time uh, Vijay Sundar was found in an offside position. Can they need to be very careful of their discipline here because uh, what's going to happen is they will be penalized if their defensive line is not uh, on side and uh, repetitive penalties will opt uh, referee Arno Shanta to go to his pocket. Yes, and most of these infringements are pretty much coming in the red zone. So the players will need uh, to be a bit careful. Interesting call by ECH and FC to go for the scrum, uh, Sudarshana. Last time they executed the driving mall, it worked pretty well for them, but opting to go for the scrum, interesting to see uh, what kind of uh, tactic they'll pull on from here. Will they go in for a three-quarter move or will it be uh, they'll just try to drive uh, this candy pack into submission? To keep an eye out on La Laksara, who might be uh, looking to break on the shorter side. You need to first wait for the ball to come before you start shoving and uh, Candy are privy to that. Something that the Candy front row didn't get right against CH CRNFC. They didn't get the height right. Abdullah, they were always a little higher than CHNFC, which is the case here as well. And when you are like that, it's very difficult for you to try and shove your position. And when they do shove, you tend to stand up, which is why they were penalized time and time again. Luxor breaking from the back. Uh, and that will be the second try for CH and FC. Luxor touching down for CH. And just like that, CH replying with kind. And uh, chance for Netumina to try and equalize the score. Yes, well, if the first quarter of this game is anything to go by, I think we are in for a humdinger of a contest. Don't think you could have explained it much better at scrum time, Sudarshana. You can see Candy probably a bit too upright, just to make it, to explain it simply. CHNFC just identifying that weakness in Candy's game. And uh, the scrum wheel to one side, which exposed the the right side of the scrum and the CH number 8 was brilliant to exploit that gap and go over for CH and FC's uh, second try. Netmina with the conversion. Makes no mistake, so it's 12 points all. It's been uh, some brilliant rugby thus far. Hirusha Netmina has been very consistent uh, with the boot this, this year for CHNFC. And it looks like we'll be going in for a mini break. Well, uh, hydration break is uh, something that, you, that the referees and the match officials can decide on. Because, uh, because the team are finding it difficult here at... Uh, Race goes in Colombo as well. It's quite hot, Abdullah. It's funny, isn't it? Uh, we had four months of torrid rain, and then suddenly the sun ever so close to Sri Lanka, and uh, it's been quite sunny and quite uh, humid. Yes, well, we are approaching uh, the Feb March period, which uh, generally is uh, pretty much the peak of summertime in the country. And it's not just the heat, it's the humidity that also plays such a big factor. It's something which uh, traditionally Candy have struggled with. So it'll be interesting to see as this game wears on, how that humidity will uh, have an impact on the Candy team. That's why the start is so important, isn't it, Sudarshana? 12 points all after 20 minutes, you'd have to say CHNFC will be pretty happy with how things have worked out thus far. Absolutely, I think uh, CHNMC will be the happy a lot of uh, the two. Candy on the other hand haven't 
We haven't seen uh, their back line, which is the most strong uh, of uh, the two components of can the candy team in attack. Good carry by uh, Tanuja Maduranga from the CHNFC. Looking for the forwards uh, to try and carry effectively and make sure the angle is better for their clearance. Netman in the pocket. Puts the ball to boot. Seneviratna couldn't judge it cleanly, so let's it bounce. Here's Surya Bandara to Ratwate. Cuts back inside, back of the hand to Suri. To Faumi. Goes to the ground, should have held on to that ball. Malita Ratwate now Tilina. Pick up on that uh, Abe Vikrama. Ekanaika. Thought of uh, acting as the halfback. Here's uh, Tarinda Ratwata. Big unit Charles Praveen going in uh, to contact Bandara Ratwata. Seneviratna Ratwata to Kamidu Pereira in the corner. Cuts back inside, makes the ball available. Now Candy building up a couple of faces, playing it with advantage. Nigel Ratwata shows and goes, breaks uh, the uh, defensive line. Ekanaika in the corner. Jason Disanaika with a carry. Candy still keeping it alive. Disanaika to Bandara. Ratwate to Faumi. Here's Surya Bandare to Ratwate, long cut out pass to Tarinda. Coming to Pereira in the corner, offloads to Sanushka, Bevikrama, Bevikrama for the line and CHNFC have done wonderfully well to hold that up. So that will not be a try but a referee will come back for the initial infringement by CHNFC where the line was found offside. CH despite being under pressure Abdullah will be very happy at that last minute defensive brilliance yes absolutely desperate defending here by CHNFC did it really well good awareness by the two defenders to hold the player above uh, the try line probably there is an argument whether they uh, candy got the advantage that uh, they had from that penalty it's one of those 50-50 uh, calls which have gone in favor of uh, candy so they'll have another bite at the cherry as it were and Ratwata will no doubt look to go to the corner. 12 ball, 22 minutes on our clock as uh, Nigel brings play into uh, the 22, inside the 22 meters of CHNFC here at Ray Schools. Massive shout out to everybody watching from around the world. Hope you are excited uh, for this game as we are because these two teams are battling it out. Again, line out was really troubling Candy. CHNFC managing to get that at the back of uh, the line out. Two kickers available for the half back. Goes to Netamina. Kamidu Pereira. Now to Seneviratna. Gives it to Ekanaika. Ekanaika on the far side finds Pereira. Pereira cut him back inside, looking for options, brought to ground. Nigel Ratwate, Ekanayaka to Surya Bandara, good tackle on Jaya Sundara. Surya Bandara changes direction, now on the short side, Wajit Faumi again, very good tackling. That time it was the CHNFC skipper Lee. Ratwate to Malita Vijay Sundara. With the carry, Surya Bandara to Ratwatta. Not a very good pass, but uh, Abhay Vikrama collects it and goes straight up. Here, starting the putting the ball to boot, uh, putting pressure, and uh, Hirush Netumira did wonderfully well because that, that was the best option that he could have taken there. Yeah, that's right. Didn't have much other option other than maybe dive and collect it. 
like a wicket keeper would, but uh, decided to go for the safe option and just put it into touch. But Candy are looking very dangerous when they are moving the ball, isn't it, Sudarshana? Always managing to get over that first line of defence. Some just it's just that some absolutely desperate defending by CHNFC okay, that's you, keeping this Candy at bay so far. So another line out uh, for Candy. It's an area of the game as uh, you said they have really struggled with. Okay. This time that's again. not straight. Uh, is the call from uh, referee Arunashanta yet again? The line out was really troubling them. Chai Sundara does not agree. He thinks that it was uh, straight. Most of the hookers do think when they're not straight, but uh, that would, did look like it was on the middle channel, but uh, referee Arnashant has a better viewpoint to take a look at that. Ball outside. Coach! So the scrum is outside the 22 meters. They will uh, not be able to kick the ball out in full. Pereira with the put in. Here's uh, Rajapaksa. Puts the ball to boot. Can they let in the ball bounce? Senevi does well to get away from uh, the initial tackler. Abe Vikrama to uh, this Anayaka, gives it to Ekanayaka, Pereira in the corner, drops the ball forward. These are the unforced errors that uh, will make can uh, Candy pay. These are the tiny errors that crept in in that CRNFC game as well. And before they knew it, it was a little too little too late. Because even if it's Candy Sports Club Abdullah, when the opposition scores four tries against you in the first half, it's really difficult to come back from there. Yeah, that's right. Against quality teams, trying to recover after get going into a deficit is no easy task. And also you could probably see a little bit of frustration creeping into Candy's game as well. They're doing most of the things correct, isn't it? They're managing to create phases, uh, managing to stress the CHNFC defense, but just not clinical enough to put those finishing touches at the crucial moments. CH yet again with an opportunity to try and get the ball into the opposition half. It'll be uh, good for them to play that territorial game. Can you manage it to put pressure on that uh, scrum? But CH and FC, an error from their part this time around, loses the ball forward, and these are the tiny moments these uh, candy lads would be hoping that it will go their way and um, we keep going back to uh, the game uh, of the first round of the love the robert the green um, yes it did go crnfc's way from that initial kickoff from that the try that uh, for a for a second or two looked like the entire field was stunned it was just coming the course who was up and uh, scored that brilliant try Bye. But that, that is purely because of the fact that CRNFC turned up to that game. And uh, when you are the more superior team, chances are the rubber the green goes your way as uh, Candy look to run. And uh, obstruction yes. will be the call there. Yes, far too many decoy runners by uh, Candy Sports Club running right into the CH defenders taking them out illegally so Netmina with an opportunity to drive play into uh, Candy's half strikes it well right on the 50 meter mark let's have a look at that once again yes a little Lavanga Pereira going straight uh, a little bit of theatrics from uh, CHNFC as well, but uh, can't blame them. You got to make sure that you don't make. You can be decoy runners. You can have six, seven decoy runners running, but they cannot make contact with the would-be defenders. Now that's something uh, brilliant from CHNFC. They had trouble with their line out the earlier time. This time, straight away, wanting to go 
for the front peel and that's exactly what you need to do you need you need to try and settle down you need you need to take your options Malik Shapira trying to snipe through that uh, miniature gap now the CH forwards rallying around no hands is the referee and uh, once a player is on the ground you cannot be dragging him on the field which is why Candy gets penalized there. They didn't have the hand on he didn't have hand on the ball of the laborers, the player that was being dragged around. So an opportunity for CHNFC to go into the lead and very correctly going for the points. So over the forty meter mark, so be quite an effort if uh, Nethmina does manage to get this over as we have a look at that once again. We'll take a look at this. Now the player is on the ground. He's n he hasn't had an opportunity to place that ball on the ground and he's been dragged away. Yes, and I don't think he released the player as well, isn't it? So very well spotted by Arun Shanta. Got to release the ta once you make the tackle. That did not happen. Nethmina lining it up. Uh approximately 47 meters with the angle the wind has eased up a little bit strikes it well has the distance and seems like it has uh, the direction as well so there you go CHNFC getting into the lead 15 points to 12 first time this game that will give them a world of confidence if they can score next they will be looking to close this game out half an hour mark on our clock up the land uh, this game is really heating up absolutely and it's just not the points is it Sudarshana candy who are dominating the, the last few passages of play had nothing to show for it and uh, CHNFC pop up on the other side and managed to get three points Lost forward by CH that time off the kickoff. Candy will want to try and respond immediately. Faumi with the carry takes three men down. Here's uh, Ratwatta. Surya Bandar with a little snipe puts the ball forward and it goes uh, to touch inside the five meters. So there will be a line out in the five meter mark a little bit of uh, a little pat on each other on Malik Shapira and Seneviratna they know each other very well that's the beauty of this game isn't it despite being a very very physical game where you pretty much barge into each other it's it's played at uh, it's played with so much of camaraderie even in the opposition team Abdullah that's the beauty of uh, rugby Yes, and most of these players, probably schoolmates during their time as well, grew up together from probably the junior levels and uh, eventually when they come to club rugby, probably part ways, but uh, those friendships uh, always uh, linger on. You can now see the impact of uh, this physicality just coming into Candy a little bit, already being forced to make a bit of a substitution. Yes, I think that was a blood bin. Uh, Vajit Faumi has had a knock too, he said being replaced by Tarindu Chaturanga Kudelige. Farmi will have to uh, get that uh, mended and will want to come back uh, onto the field as soon as possible. Now here's an opportunity for the candy forwards to put uh, CHNFC under pressure. Defensive line of Bandara goes up, uh, overthrown by okay, okay, CH Malik Shapira with a nothing kick, really. It was lost forward by CH and FC, so scrum in favor of uh, Candy. No, seems like uh, Candy has lost it forward, so scrum in favor of uh, CH and FC. First knock on by Candy, says uh, Rafir Nashanta. So they will receive another opportunity and this one a better one than the earlier time to get out of uh, their own half. I think the territorial game is going to be absolutely key in this game of the lab. We saw every time CH went into the opposition half, they've come back with points. 
and uh, Kendi on the other hand, despite being, uh, despite having that territorial advantage, haven't been able to con convert those into points, and that has been a trouble for Kendi Sports Club this this entire season. Here's Pereira with the feed in, good solid scrum from uh, CHNFC Rajapaksa. Puts the ball to boot. And uh, will be a line out at uh, the 22 meter mark because the ball was brought back into the 22 meters. Uh, not the ideal result for CHNFC who were looking to get out uh, from their red zone. Yes, I don't think uh, Rajapaksha intended to put that in touch, but it sliced off his boot. Now. CHNFC find themselves under a bit of pressure. Just about uh, five minutes to go for half time. Good line out for Candy. Here is Ratwatha to Tarinda. Tarinda gives it to Seneviratna. Pereira coming to Pereira in the corner. Makes it available. Here is Nigel. Bandara tucks it in. Vijay Sundara to Nigel. Pereira offers his back to uh, CHNFC plenty of space to tackle here's Jayasundar good work from uh, the CH forwards Serviratna with a show and go inside the 22 meters goes to the ground picks it up but uh, the referee says uh, knee on the ground Five minutes to go until half time on our clock. Well, if you can, if you did hear the referee's mic, uh, it can be a little bit of, a, if you didn't, I can be a little bit of a fortune teller and tell you that uh, this one is going to be a four-man four line out from CHNFC. Spot on Sudarshana, you'd make a wonderful fortune teller, I'd have to say. Pressure on that line out, but CH coming away with it. Uh, here's uh, Abzal with a cut out pass, goes to the forward to uh, straight it up. Uh, Niroj Pereira with the carry for CHNFC. Candy trying to put pressure on that rock. Abzal playing as the first receiver. Trying to go through uh, the tiny holes in the defensive line. Netumina puts the ball up. Good high hanging kick. But uh, same cannot be said about the chasers. Surya Bandar returns uh, the kick in kind. Rajapaksa. No, 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 no. Yet again puts the ball to boot. And uh, Surya Bandar tracks back and uh, collects it. And that time around much better. Kick by uh, Surya Bandar brings play outside the 22 meters. Candy have been a little vulnerable whenever CH have opted to kick the ball deep. Yes, again, just uh, haven't been able to adjust to these conditions, you'd have to say, Sudarshana. If you, if you don't play here regularly, it does, uh, it can take you by surprise, especially with the kicking yes. game. So, good opportunity here for CH. Yes. To launch an attack. Candy this time managing to spoil that line out. Tarandu Chaturanga went to the ground. That's going to be a penalty in favor of CHNFC. He was on the ground, lost position on the ball. He cannot reach out and touch that ball again. Tarandu Chaturanga with a little bit of a brain fade, if you may call it. Now an opportunity for Netumina to increase the lead to six points from here up the land this is what CH NFC will be hoping to do the Gymkhana club every time you come to the opposition 22 here's what happened the first time he lost it he couldn't reach out he should have just let it bounce because Surya Bandar was there to collect it really crucial kick in the context of the game just about 90 seconds to half time 
Chance for CHNFC to further extend their lead. Netmina. Yeah. Makes no mistake. So CHNFC going to go further into the lead, 18 points to 12. And you'd have to say they'd be very pleased with the outcome so far because for most of this first half, it's Candy Sports Club who have looked threatening, isn't it? But uh, just some desperate defense and uh, coupled with a few errors of judgment when uh, CHNFC have kicked the ball and enab enabled uh, CHNFC to get... Well, it seems uh, like yeah. that time around, uh, Ekanaika was right on top of that man and manages uh, to get the turnover. Gayan Jaman was the person who went in uh, with the ball. But uh, Aiken Aiger was right on spot. Candy Sports Club wanted to make sure that they finish this game, finish this okay. half rather, in front. If they can get a try, that will be 17 okay. points and they will be banking on Ratwate to get, give them that one point lead. Will be some consolation going into the shed setting up our candy sports club bandara transfers the ball to the back uh, very good uh, defensive work by chnfc who are shoving desperately trying to bring that mall down and does exactly that held up uh, says the referee scrum in favor of uh, chnfc so can they not manage to make use of a very good opportunity to go in front before half time and CH want to try and finish this one as soon as possible. As I give a lot of credit to CH and FC's defensive mall on that occasion, Sudarshana. They were found wanting on a couple of occasions in this first half, but on that occasion they were absolutely brilliant. Got stuck in to Bandara as soon as he reached the ground, did not give any momentum to that driving mall and managed uh, to sack it legally and prevent the ball from coming out. So this could very well be the final play of the game. And if CHNFC can just get it out into touch, they'd be pretty pleased with their effort in this first half. Raji Baksa says thank you so much. I will uh, take the time to go to the shed half time. CHNFC in front of Candy Sports Club, 18 points to 12. The defending champions staring down the barrel, especially with the uh, CRNFC's win yesterday. Abdullah, it makes it uh, absolute must, must win for Candy Sports Club. All these three games because CRNFC is unbeaten and they're looking absolutely golden. In order for them to have any hope of uh, clinching the trophy in that final week, they need to make sure that they get a convincing win here and also come travel next week to have Lock Sports Club and get a win. But uh, so far, this game, CHNFC are absolutely in the driving seat now with 18 points to 12 lead. Yes, I think CHNFC will be thrilled with how things have uh, panned out at the end of this first half. These are the highlights of uh, the game. Just Candy Sports Club who kicked off. Had the, the first opportunity with that cross kick. Coming to Pereira, unfortunately not being able to hold on to the ball. But the referee was playing advantage and uh, from that ensuing penalty, it was put into touch and uh, a very well constructed driving mall enabling Candy to draw first blood in the game. CHNFC to their credit, struck back immediately. After the dr driving mall was stalled, a few pick and goes found uh, Candy's fringe defense wanting. And uh, that was their first try to equalize things. It was 5 all at uh, that point. And then another driving mall by uh, Candy Sports Club. Enabling them to further extend the lead. Ratwata made no mistake with the conversion. So it was 12 points to 5 at that point. And the th things seemed to be going towards Candy's uh, favor. But then a big scrum by the CH8. Enabling them... Uh, to get another try and Netmina made no mistake with the conversion so it was 12 points all and from that point onwards CHNFC despite being under a lot of pressure managing to get points whenever they made a visit into Candy's half 
courtesy a couple of net miners uh, penalties and therefore find themselves well placed 18 points to 12 at half time Introducing NeosPay, a fun way to make payments from your Neos app. For the fun of paying, hashtag NeosPay. England, back to conquer India? Or will India wield their might? The cricketing showdown of the year. England takes on India in an epic test series that promises passion, rivalry and unforgettable moments. England Tour of India, 2nd February to 11th March, live on the Papare TV and Dialogue Viewer, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Presenting EP World ILT20 Season 2. Start January 19th, 8 p.m., live on the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. First and exclusive. Music fades. But art is for keeps. Dominic Toretto, you're about to learn all about fear. Ooh. This is incredible. Sick, and it's all ours. If you can get this team to the Special Olympics Finals, you might be ready to be back in the NBA. First and exclusive, all new on Saturdays. The new year will be met with fanfare. No one's going to sleep. No stone will be left unturned. Presenting DP World ILT 20 Season 2. Start January 19th, 8 p.m. Live on the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel.
Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. The new year will be met with fanfare. No one's going to sleep. There'll be fireworks all around. And eat all kinds of food. Even ice trays will be in short supply. No stone will be left unturned. The first T20 challenge of the new year is here. Presenting DP World ILT20 Season 2. Live on the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Introducing NeosPay, a fun way to make payments from your Neos app. For the fun of paying, hashtag NeosPay. Hot and spicy, fun vibe, bigoti bar karanda. Beat the remake karanda, the winda. Hotter with the bar, well I am not giving me a fashion karanda. Fun, 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 the karanda, cause we kick it to the end. Prima, cut to me, fun tamai. Protect your home from harmful bacteria. Nippon Paint Medifresh, a powerful combination of silver and zinc ions. Nippon Paint, the coatings expert. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z Z. We KYC. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Your clan, all the samurai, they need you now more than ever. Uh, the live action from uh, race scores. We are having an absolutely interesting game here. CHNFC hosting Candy Sports Club here at the race scores, and uh, the Jim Corner Club in red and white stripes are making all the plays here at uh, the race scores. They're leading this game 18 points to 12. Ready, wise. And uh, we'll be hoping that they can okay. uh, continue the good work in the first half and uh, crush the hopes of Candy Sports Club who are. Uh, Chasing that title. High hanging kick from Netumina. Collected by Bandara. Surya Bandara gives it to uh, Attanagoda who has come in. Attanagoda that time uh, ho guilty of holding on. Couple of changes have come in for Candy Sports Club. Dilshan Farid. Replacing uh, Jai Sundar, Attanagoda replacing uh, Charles Praveen. Straight away, opportunity for CHNFC to extend their lead. And uh, with the kicking form Netumina has shown, it's not rocket science what they will opt to do. They are going to go for three points. Yes, and this is where Candy have not been as clinical as they should be. Brilliant work, not just by the poacher, but also by the defender. How well he got away from that breakdown. Skimana Silva right on top of that ball and right on top of that man. Managing to tackle that, giving CHNFC an opportunity. This score, if they can get this one through, will be a massive blow because that will put them nine points in front of uh, Candy Sports Club. Netmina makes no mistake. So what a start for CH and FC. Further extending the lead. Candy are going to be under enormous pressure now. They cannot afford to make too many mistakes like they have so far in this game. It's not just the game that will slip away, but even their hopes of the league. So we have a look at that uh, kick once again. 
Brilliant by Netmina. Kandu with the restart, Lee carrying the ball forward, and uh, Chaturanga have managed to push that, but uh, CH getting that back. Netmina's kick uh, is kicked out on the full. That's a mistake that they cannot uh, make let candy in <laughs> candy now needs to make sure that they hit the ranks they hit the mark they need to make sure that this line out is perfect farid coming in <laughs> The second half had a horror of a game against the RNFC this time. Gets to Jason Disanayaka straight away. Ball available at the back. Candy now need to go forward. Tarindu Chaturanga goes to the ground. Good pressure coming in from uh, CHNFC. Ball available inside. Surya Bandara digs it out. Ratwate to Tarindu. Ekanayaka cuts back inside, could a little fumble with the ball. Suri serving options at Tharindu. Could delegate. Messi by Candy and CH have absolutely pounced on that. Uh, this is not the Candy that we are used to seeing. Here's Netumina with the kick and chase. Kavindu Pereira collects it and Okay. Play on. Brilliant tackle by uh, Pereira on Jayaman who loses the ball forward. So Candy will look to counter. Atanagoda, Farid to Bandara. Now Chaturanga, Bandara again. No, 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 no. Surya Bandara opting to go on the short side and uh, referee playing advantage for an offside uh, infringement by CHNFC. Going in from the side, says uh, referee Arnashant, and uh, this will be an opportunity for Kenley to go to the corner. Playing catch up rugby here, Abdullah. Candy Sports Club, uh, not a place that they are very used to, but uh, back to back they've had to do it. Yes, well, there's plenty more time in this game to go, but it's just that they just haven't been clinical enough. It's been a pretty much a uh, error riddled performance thus far they have managed uh, to get over the first line of defense of uh, chnfc on numerous occasions but just beyond that haven't been able to put things together Fari this time goes to bandara setting it up for oh, cardinal error by candy sports club losing control of that ball in the mall bounces freely for chnfc who uh, Managed to settle things down and pounce on it. Okay, Terrific Jawa. carry by Jayaman at that time. No, 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 Rock. CH really putting in a big shift. Uh, here's Raja Paksa. Foot race on for the ball. Netubina caught inside the five meters of uh, the red zone. Now the forwards will have to do a little bit of work to make sure that the angle is right. The rock. CH happy to slow things down. There is a massive in goal here at uh, the race course. We see with the, the Jim Connor club be thankful for as uh, Hiroshima Tumina puts the ball to boot. Yes, don't think Candy will be too disappointed with that outcome. Again, it's their line out, isn't it? It just hasn't uh, functioned well today. There is a pretty strong breeze uh, going across this ground, so important that uh, Farid hits his mark. Again, going across field. Just don't think it's uh, the correct call to go to number six when it's in such windy conditions. Just the decision making on that occasion, letting uh, Candy Sports Club down. They were doing pretty well when they were going to that number two pot, wasn't it, Sudarshana? Don't think they needed to change it much. Disanayaka was pretty solid at the front of the line out. 
not quite sure why they would make that call, especially considering the windy conditions here at the race course. Pressure. Pressure on Candy Sports Club who are chasing this game. Sia, happy to close it out, happy to take things Coach. slow. Bye. First quarter Don't of the second half. Set. Hey. Okay. Ball available at the back to Raja Baksu who opts to send it out to Nitubina who puts in a massive kick, Ekanaika collects it and uh, decides to run runs across onto the opposition half no, no, now no. No, no. turned over by CHNFC who've done absolutely well in turning over the possession the Lee taking the ball to contact now Gamage with the carry ball loose Vijay Sundara chasing uh, that one Prop against uh, the fullback. Fullback was always going to win that. But uh, good get out of jail stuff uh, by Hirushanet Mina. Little bit of helter skelter okay. play by both the teams. Uh, Abdullah, they need to try and settle down because there's plenty more to play in this game. But for Candy, it's the continuity that they're looking, looking for because. Uh, they do have some big players in their ranks, the likes of Jason Desanayake, the likes of uh, Su Surya Bandar, the two Ratwattes and also uh, Kamidu Pereira on the wing. In order for them to try and bring those players into the game, what's important is that uh, they need to make sure that they build on faces and are patient with it. Yes, they want to play the game at pace, but you need to make sure that you're patient this time again, going for a four-man. Nigel puts the ball high up. Good high-hanging kick. But the chasers are little subdued. Netumina with the reply. Ekanaika underneath it. Had the sun right in his eye. Very good collection by Ekanaika that time. Here's Senaviratna to Attanagoda. With the carry, good carry by Atanagoda. Okay. Ratpatta again puts the ball to boot. Looked like the defender, the chasers were in front of Ratwatte. And uh, referee Arnashanta has spotted it. The entire back line was in front uh, of Ratwatte. Yes, these are the kind of errors that's just creeping into Candy's game. And uh, as you very correctly said, Sudarshana, it's pressure, isn't it? They've been under the... Under pressure by CHNFC during the last 20 minutes or so of this game, including the latter part of that first half. And when you are under pressure and not thinking clearly, errors do creep into your game. Now that was pretty much an unforced error which can be needed to avoid. Time off! Changes! Coach Marija and uh, Coach Viraj Prasanna in the background having a little bit of a conference. We want to make sure that they try and fix what they see. Time on. So we have a look at that replay once again. As you can see, a couple of lazy runners, including uh, Tarinda Ratwata in front of the kicker. Just a little bit of lack of discipline, letting Candy down as CHNFC attack along the fringes. Prasad Madhusanka has made his way in uh, for Pulasti Gamage. Both teams uh, having uh, experience in the bench and uh, calling on that experience in the second half. Yes, Lee. Advantage. Decided uh, to run. That's going to be high in favor of uh, CH. That's a high, t high tackle. So another opportunity right in front of the post. Number ten. And uh, Netumina will say thank you very much. I'll take this one as well. 
can see more errors now slowly creeping into uh, Candy's game, isn't it, Sudarshana? Been under a lot of pressure, and you could see that scoreboard pressure taking its toll on their performance. Nathmina has been brilliant with the boat today. Just to keep on keeping that scoreboard ticking, and it's having an impact on Candy's uh, performance uh, as this game goes on. Well, if CHNFC can try and get the win here, the faithful of Jim Corner Club will be absolutely elated, then I can uh, tell you. Don't move, don't move, boys. The neighbours at London Place are going to be even more happier. Net winner. With the kick, and uh, the, again, absolutely no problem. As he takes uh, the score to 24 points in favor of uh, four, CHNFC. Number four. number four out. 12 point lead now. Candy will have to work overload. He will, they will have to go on the overkill now, uh, Abdullah. They cannot afford to make mistakes. They need to showcase discipline okay. in ball handling. Short kick. Idea was right. Jason was almost there, but just couldn't get that tap in. There's two scores uh, behind now, Candy. The way they have been playing, that is a lot uh, for them to recover from. They do have the quality, but the execution just hasn't okay. been there today. Knee on the knee on the knee. And that's brilliant work by uh, Jason. Surya Bandara says, I've had enough of this. Takes the quick tap. Shows his class. Catches uh, the CHNFC defense snapping. And uh, gets a high shot for his troubles as well. But what a wonderful try by Surya Bandara. Done it numerous times for Sri Lanka in Servants Rugby. Terrific, terrific. Uh, by, we spoke about Candy's big players and how they need to try and come into this game, Abdullah. And Surya Bandara does just that. Pounces on uh, the opportunity, pounces on that tiny opening, snipes through and makes sure that he touches down. Take a look at this. Quickly taken. Gets away from uh, the first lot who couldn't have tackled him anyway because they went down uh, 10 meters and then makes... Uh, it okay. a little easier for Tarin Ratwate for the conversion as well, getting closer Captain. to that upright. Captain. Will it be a double blow? Oh no. Hiroshin Edmina, CHNFC's most influential player so far this game, has been given the marching orders. He will go to the bin. Captain. Sin bin for. 10 minutes and CH will not have that kicking range for the next 10. Is this the opening candy hope for? We will have to wait and see. It's just the break uh, candy would have wanted. And that champion Surya Bandara taking it upon himself to do the needful. Ratwata to further cut down this lead. Strikes it well and makes no mistake. So it's a five point game now, and the CHNFC will be down by a player for the next 10 minutes. 19 points to 24, and uh, the game will start with a penalty due to that uh, offense. Interesting though, because the offense was offense occurred before the try was scored, and this is the same reason why it wasn't. Uh, a yellow card the previous week at CRNFC. If it wasn't a penalty start up rather and uh, Candy on the other hand will be pretty happy that they will that they have gotten an opportunity yet again to try and challenge CHNFC who are down their fullback. CH will have to get one of those players from the back line to try and trek back to cover Okay. The space at the back. Here's uh, Candy with the quick line out <laughs> and uh, free avoiding a free kick. Yeah. 
Free kick in favor of uh, CHNFC inside the 22 meters, so they can kick this ball out on the full. Is it going to be crucial for the in the context of this game how CHNFC navigate the next eight minutes or so? They are down a player. Rajapaksha takes a short tap, hacks it downfield, doesn't find touch. Suranga Kasun has uh, come on to the field. Pereira looking to run and uh, Pereira under pressure. Candy trying to spawn on that rock. Hands inside the rock, says the referee. So very good work by uh, the Candy lads who uh, is showing commitment. It'll be interesting if you can uh, take a look at that uh, replay. And uh, that will be a very good uh, example for many young players, especially forwards and even backs, because uh, Seneviratna was also part of that uh, counter ruck. Candy are not worried about uh, going four points. They want to go to the corner. They want that uh, bonus point try as Nigel Ratwatta puts the ball to boot and gets his team just outside the five meters as uh, the assistant referee Robin Alexander marks the spot. Number 11, number 11. Change. It's just important to, for Candy to understand the conditions, how the line out has worked in the past. They've been successful, they've gone to number two. Come on. Good. Jason Disanayaka is the recipient. Candy sets it up and he's on the drive. Prasad Madhusanka trying to stop the candy charge and uh, CH and FC have come away with the ball. Here's CH. Offload to Maliksha. Pereira. Pereira looking to secure that ball and he does so. Brilliant work from CH and FC to pounce on that ball. Shamal Virasekar on Rajapaks, a big hit on him. CH putting the ball to boot through Abzal. Candy will run from their own half. Danush Dilukshka Dange playing one of his first games this season. Struggled with uh, an injury. Coming to Pereira, goes to ground. Surya Bandar onto the short side. Now Lavanga Pereira cut him back inside the skipper for Candy. Suri thought about sniping, gives it to Nigel. Here's Atanagoda. Very good uh, line speed that time by Laksara. Referee playing advantage in favor of Candy. Here's Dange to Abe Vikrama. Tarin Ratwate in the corner says thank you very much. Candy get their bonus point try and Candy will touch down right underneath the post. <laughs> to 10 minutes, Netumina is not there. He's uh, really making CHP. The scores are level here at uh, the race course with opportunity for Tarindar Atwate to add the extras and take Candy to the lead. A brilliantly executed bit of play by the, th the three quarters of Candy Sports Club. Running straight, drawing the man and passing. Just doing the basics brilliantly well. And Ratwatta putting the finishing touches to some wonderful bit of phase play. Scores equal and Ratwatta makes no mistake with the conversion. So Candy Sports Club find themselves in the lead. We were, we were just discussing, isn't it, Sudarshan, how One important these next 10 minutes will be for CHNFC and how they manage the game. But uh, Candy, the champions that they are, have back. managed to capitalize on that one-man advantage. Again, a one-minute break uh, mid-half at uh, the 60-minute mark. As uh, the players are going to hydrate themselves. 15 against 14, Candy have just, just managed to get in front uh, 
of CHNFC lovely bit of work Dange to Abe Vikrama to Tarin the Ratwate all Trinity try there Dilushka Dange Abe Vikrama and uh, Ratwate all playing uh, rugby at Trinity College before they took on uh, the domestic teams so hydration chance for CHNFC to try and regroup and try and settle down speak to each other you saw in the first half that this candy team is un not unbeatable we've done our hard yards now we need to make sure that we capitalize settle down and put candy under pressure yes but you need to have that 80 minute performance isn't it Sudarshana for CHNFC just another 20 minute performance will do but they just need to uh, regroup and execute much better, cut off whatever errors. Rajapaksha recommences proceedings, kick off right into Ratwata's hands, who kicks it downfield. Okay. CHNFC answer likewise, but uh, it's been kicked out on the full. These are not the kind of mistakes you want to commit in this kind of situation. Just putting yourselves under a lot of pressure. <laughs> so these are not mistakes uh, that uh, Coach Maris will take uh, too kindly. You need to make sure that you keep Candy away from your own half as much as po you possibly can. This Anaika collects it. Here's uh, Surya Bandara recognizing that there's nobody patrolling uh, the back of uh, that uh, CHNFC half, putting them under pressure. No charging, no charging. Rohit Rajapaksa is also in that uh, ruck. Abzal comes to collect it. Who's going to do uh, the kicking there is Abda. Abzal does it himself. Candy letting the ball bounce. Here's uh, Suranga to Pereira. Coming to Pereira. To Lavanga Pereira. Now Ratwatta. That's a high shot. Referee. Will play advantage. Suranga makes the, rock. The, rock. the ball available. Abe Vikrama, that's a, a forward pass. So that will be a penalty in favor of Candy Sports Club. A referee Alexander wanting to have a word, just the penalty, he says. The right call. Yes, CHNFC just back. haven't been able to cope with Number 14. The, prep, the pace at which Candip is playing this game in this second half. They've been forced into making a lot of errors in defense. Candy showing a lot of desperation. Need to keep in mind though, uh, Sudarshana, pretty much the same sequence in that game against CRNFC up in Itawala. Trailing at half time, they came all guns blazing immediately after half time but just could not finish things over as we have a look at that replay once again Kavindu Pereira getting it out to Lavanga Pereira who did well to uh, keep it alive and then a high shot on Tarin Ratwata. probably a bit lucky not uh, to be shown a card but uh, nonetheless good attacking opportunity for Candy Yes, Farid this Anaika goes up. Quick ball for Candy Tarinda trying to go through the middle uh, channels. CHNFC managing to pulse on that ball, putting pressure. Seems like Candy have uh, succumbed to that pressure. Abzal putting the ball to boot. Touched, says the referee. Here's uh, Kavindu Pereira surveying his options. Kavindu on the run, trying to go through the middle, but uh, the CS defense was equal to it. This Anaika with the carry. Vijay Sundara. Rock formed, says the referee. Chaturanga to Nigel. Oh, <laughs> smashed in that uh, he didn't have space he didn't have no, 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 
an opportunity to, to get on that ball. CH putting pressure. He has uh, Abzal yet again putting the ball up. Finds Surya Bandar. Again puts uh, the ball to boot. Uh, good pressure from Candy Sports Club, and that's going to be a penalty. And a card to Dange. Yes, I would. It's uh, just a high shot by the looks of it, but uh, it would have been a penalty nonetheless because none of the candy forwards made an attempt to retreat. Simon. Yellow card now 14 on 14. Can CHNFC do a change here? Up until the 74th minute, Candy will be down to 14 men. They should get uh, Netumina in the next couple of minutes. Which will make them... Uh, here's what happened. Oh, pretty unfortunate that time, uh, Dange, because... Uh, time off! Time off! Sorry, time off. Number the referee... Number 70. Number 70. Number 17 off. Deciding that uh, there was a high hey, shot from hey, Tanu Jamaduranga who lost his footing and uh, went there. down. Malita Vijay Sundar has been replaced by uh, Simon. Milan Vira Singer who's come to the middle. Okay. Good scrum, a good uh, line out rather from uh, CHNFC who set it up and ball. are driving it forward. Prasad Madhushanka at the back with the ball. Good drive by CH now. Candy managing to bring the ball down. CH have been restored to their original number with Netumina back in the middle. Really see it? Okay, good. Good, good. CH forwards playing that uh, waiting game. They'll want to make sure that they keep the ball close to each other. Put can be under pressure, suck in that defense and then go out wide. So th the wingers in the corner can uh, finish the job. One score here. The next team that scores here will put the opposition under tremendous pressure. And if uh, CH can score next, they will take a lot of confidence in the way they have played and uh, they, they will ruffle the feathers of uh, the lads from Candy. Candy on the other, other hand need to be disciplined because Netumina is back. If you give CH and FC a penalty in this area, they will opt to kick it. Forwards going at it. Nine faces now with the forwards makes it 10 around the fringes they're still on outside the 22 meters are they setting up for a drop kick no now the ball comes out wide Avantali gets away from the tackle of uh, his uh, opposition number Suranga Kasun trying to pinch that ball referee says uh, advantage in favor of uh, CHNFC not releasing the man is the call. Seemed like uh, Suranga didn't re release the man before opting to go for that ball and trying to pinch that. Off. Interesting call here for CHNFC. Are they going to go for the corner or will they go for the three points? Three points will give them a one point okay. lead. Yeah, the going to yeah, sorry, 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 the fact that they don't have their place kicker on the park is uh, going to be. Oh, he's back in the field, is it? So it'll be an interesting call. But I think the angle is probably a bit too acute. Doctor? So, all by all looks, looks like they'll be going to touch. Is this going to be an uh, important uh, a line out, Tarindra Atwati getting a little bit of ten tending. 
Doctor says he's okay to continue playing, so Tarindra Tate will play, will continue to play, and uh, Simon. he's uh, one of those very, very important players in this candy setup. Well, they're deciding to go to touch. Netmina drills it in just about eight meters away from the try line. So Candy's uh, defensive mall is really going to be tested. Experienced man, Madhu Shankar. Two through in uh, goes to the back and... Uh, well... Uh, that will not uh, leave a good taste in the mouth of uh, the Gymkhana club. It's again, just not sure why they needed to go to the back of the line out. Candy had no intention of contesting that uh, throw in. <laughs> Crucial uh, decision making, letting uh, CH down on that occasion. Similar to the mistake uh, that Candy did on the other side of the park, Abdullah, when you're so very close uh, to. Uh, it's okay. Ready? When you're so very close to the try line, you need to make sure that you go and do things that you are comfortable with, not try to go to number six, especially when the line outs are not working. Surya Bandara with the put in. Keep an eye on the short side, Candy might opt to run, but. Uh, Tarinda decides against it, puts the ball through the middle to uh, the hands of Netmina. Here's uh, Netmina. Offloads. Lovely offload by uh, the ball carrier that time. It was uh, Maduranga. Oh, well. Just a terrific, terrific offload followed by a big miss, a massive miss. Dropping the ball like a wet bar of soap. RCH and FC inside the red zone of Candy Sports Club. Candy flirting with danger, but still come away with it. Yes, just trying to force the issue on that occasion were the CH uh, forwards. Ready, boys? Cool heads are what's required at this stage of the game. Everything on the line. CHNFC with an opportunity Five. to get a big scalp for Candy Sports Club. Their league hopes pretty much hinging on this game. Coach! Sit! Ready? Here's the set of the scrum. Surya Bandara digs it, finds Ratwatta. Nigel, his kick is fielded by Netmina. Wops to go for a drop Number kick. Six. Here's Dilshan Farid. Says, I'll put the ball up myself, and that's a brilliant kick. Yeah. Oh dear. What was that for? Okay. Just mark, yeah. Man in front. Just, hey, hey, hey. Right ball. Penalty in favor of Candy Sports Club. Why wasn't the advantage played? One may ask because Candy looked like they were putting uh, the opposition man under pressure. Maybe uh, that advantage call. Was heard by Dilshan Fari, who opted to put the ball to boot. Well, hookers are very skilled players on the park uh, of the land. I don't find fault. That was a very decent kick. Yeah, I have absolutely no doubt that it was a decent kick, but I don't think it had anything to do with the call. <laughs> Pretty much made up his mind that he was going to hack it downfield. And Ratwata, mm. fine touch, driving play. 
into CH territory. Well, 71 minutes on our clock. Just under 10 minutes to play. Can he still playing with uh, 14 men? There are a couple of more minutes until uh, they will get Dange back onto the field. Nigel to Tarinda. Tarinda decides to go into contact. Surya Bandara now to Danushka Ranjan. Danushka Ranjan playing a comeback season here. He is starting the Ratwate. Big about Nigel Ratwate rather. But uh, offers the ball in a platter to CHNFC. Here's a good kick. Foot race on. Suranga Kasun. Will he be able to try and collect that one? Yes, he does. Needed to make that tackle. But uh, Inside. Hail Mary of a kick by uh, Kasun brings play back to uh, right, the on. opposition half. Well, it was a wonderful chase, but he needed to make that tackle, isn't it? Sudarshana. <laughs> don't do, don't do. If he had managed to uh, make that tackle on Suranga, Candy would have been under a lot of pressure. But credit uh, to Suranga as well. Managed to keep his composure. Play on. Again, a terrible, terrible line out from CHNFC. Candy bouncing on that board. Here, starting to Suranga. Tutarinda. Ratwate goes into contact. Nigel Ratwate securing that ball. Sanushka Bevikrama goes uh, to the ground for Candy. CH again losing the ball forward. Referee playing advantage and uh, Candy opting to put the ball to boot. <laughs> Penalty in favour of Candy. Hands inside the Rockies to call by the referee. Now an interesting call to be made, Abdullah. Candy have gotten the, those four tries. They have the bonus point in the bag. Okay. Are they going to... Yes. Before I ask the question from Abdullah, Candy deciding, yes, we want to take those three points because that will suck up a couple of more couple of more seconds and we'll have Dange back onto the field as well yes I think that decision was based on the fact to just wind the clock down as well isn't it Sudarshana this game very difficult to uh, play the game with 14 players when the game is uh, pretty much on the line Ratwata hasn't had his best of days uh, with the boot today. But all will be forgiven if he could uh, slot this over. 26 to 24. Ratwate strikes it, uh, has the distance uh, and uh, the direction to through the middle. So can he take uh, a five point lead? And move to 29 points. And with that, uh, they've been restored one, to 15 men. One, Delushka Dange has come back onto the field. Under five minutes to go on our clock. Here at the race course. CHNFC just five points away from a massive upset. Well, we have upsets back to back. Five minutes will tell us. Dange straight, straight away collects uh, the ball after coming back onto the field. And uh, Surya Bandara says, I'll put it to uh, touch. Brings play outside the 22 meters. He need to regroup. This is going to be an absolutely important uh, line out. Okay, hold it. Prasad Madhusanka hasn't been uh, hitting the mark in the last two of the length. This one, he needs to make sure that CH holds on to possession. Absolutely. And the call they make for this line out, I think, also is going to be crucial. Sudarshana, okay. oh. see Jason, ready to contest. 
They've shortened the line out to a certain degree. It's a five man line out. CH do well to get the ball line out this time. Setting it up, trying to put uh, Candy under pressure but lose their balance. CH still on the move. Gets inside the 22 meters. Now the forwards will rally up and will want to go the distance. Five points. You draw the game. Can CH find their way these 22 meters? They'll have to battle and battle hard. Virasekara flying in that tackle. Candy putting a CH under pressure. Here's Abzal, puts the ball to boot. Kasun says, uh, I'll call Mark. Quickly taken by Kasun. Here's uh, Ratwate. Kicking the ball forward and uh, making sure that he again game management is going to be crucial in these dying embers of the game uh, of the land uh, candy are currently doing it a little better than chnfc absolutely experience coming into play but you'd have to question what was abzal thinking chipping ahead from that kind of situation ch forwards were giving them a bit of momentum with front football and he decides to chip ahead right into the fullback's hand and as a result ch from being five meters away from the candy line, now find themselves uh, about uh, 40 meters away. Good sack coming in from candy to try and stop that ball. Jason Disanaika could have held on to that ball because there was a mall, but uh, decided he'll let it go. CH getting their forwards, Prasad Madhushanka carrying it. Candy forwards equal to the task. Two minutes to go on our clock. Can CHNFC spark something up from here? CH adamant that they will use their forwards to do the heavy lifting. Candy says not through us here. Here's Raja Baxter running back into the forwards. Farid gets on top of that ball and that's going to be a penalty in favor of Candy Sports Club. Dilshan Farid is pumped up and pumped up. You should be. Yes, well, you felt at some time or the other, CH would need to spread the ball out wide. There's only so much uh, they could uh, make inroads into that candy defense, attacking along the fringes. And Ratwata once again drives play into CH territory. Final couple of minutes uh, of this game. Now we might we will have around three minutes to play here at uh, race course this line out is going to be important and uh, chnfc needs to put pressure as much as they possibly can jason collects it cleanly can be setting it up farid at the back with the ball breaks away and uh, is uh, Put under pressure in the tackle. Surya Bandara puts the ball to boot. And yes, Kavindu Pereira. Contact in the air that time. He will be a lucky Pereira because uh, referee says play on. And Candy come away with a penalty. If you're a Candy fan, penalty in the correct side of the field. At the correct time of the game. One minute. One minute to go, says the referee. So Ratwata very correctly deciding to go for the post and just run that clock down further. So by the looks of it, 
Looks like Candy will eventually pull off, but what a hard fought win it has been. CH and FC have definitely made them earn it. A real arm wrestle, isn't it? Tab the lab. They are winning this one, but only by the flesh of their teeth. So very close uh, this game. CH uh, unfortunate to have missed out on their standout player of the game. Uh, Nitmina for 10 minutes. Candy did very well to uh, try and manage the game uh, with the, during the absence of uh, Dange. Tarin the now lining it up and uh, adds in the three. And with that, uh, referee Arno Shanta whistles a full time 31 points to 24. And yet again, CHNFC ever so close, but uh, no cigar. Thank you. Yes, uh, CH will be really disappointed uh, that uh, they went down in this game the way they did. And unfortunately, we'll have nothing to show for it as well, isn't it? Because the margin of defeat just being sent over the eight point, seven point margin. So CHNFC will be really disappointed with the outcome, but they can take be very pleased with the effort they put in. Probably execution is what let them down and probably a bit of decision making as well. But again, Candy, leaving to fight another day, you'd have to say. We do have to decide on the Black Knight player of the match of the land. Uh, there were some very good performances from uh, both the teams uh, for CHNFC. Like we've mentioned time and time again, Hiroshi Netmina has been absolutely brilliant. He's been uh, a standout player. Gayanja Man has done it luxury when it comes to the forwards from Candy Sports Club. Of course, uh, the forwards played as a unit this time around, made sure that they had front football. But I think uh, my nomination for player of the match is going to be that uh, little dynamo, Srinath Surya Bandal, who really changed the complexion of the game. When Candy really needed it, he came up with the, an individual brilliance, a magic of a try to close the game out for them. Yeah, absolutely, Sudarshan. I don't think you can argue with that because the, the things were just meandering along for Candy at that stage. They just needed to someone to stand up and uh, take control of the game. Suri decided to do that and from that point of point onwards, CH were pretty much on the back foot. And it's just not that try what followed with that, that high shot by Neth Mina after he, the try was scored by Surya Bandara resulted in CH having to play the next 10 minutes with uh, 14 players and at that's the stage where Candy really got back into the game. Yes, uh, for his all-around brilliance and also uh, coming back to his pit position of halfbacks, uh, Srinath Surya Bandar is going to be a uh, uh, player of the match, uh, the Black Knight player of the match here at uh, race course. 24 points to 32. Candy Sports Club managing to win that on the scoreboard quite comfortably, but uh, it was a different story altogether, similar to what we saw yesterday at the Matthias Trophy second leg encounter at Tavlock Sports Club. Uh, it was a real arm wrestle here at uh, Racecourse of the Land. Uh, uh, such a closely contested game and I'm sure if you are a neutral fan, you would have absolutely enjoyed this one. But if you are a London place, if you are a CR and FC fan, you would have all hoped that uh, your Columbus 7 neighbours would have uh, done a little bit of a favour. Absolutely, but uh, not to be the case, but it just keeps the league alive as we have a look at the highlights of this uh, second half. CHNFC got off to a good start in the second half with two penalties, but then this is the moment uh, where things changed around. Some absolute mastery by uh, Surya Bandara taking things upon himself to get his club back into the game. And that high shot by Nethmin as a result of that try resulted in uh, uh, CHNFC being under a lot of pressure and from that point onwards Candy SC just got their game together, put up a few phases and Ratwatta scoring a try under the post pretty much unchallenged and uh, CHNFC you'd have to say never quite recovered uh, from that point onwards Yes it was that try in the absence of Nethmina that uh, really put uh, 
CH under a lot of pressure. Tarindra Ratwa Tediuli complied and made sure that he adds in the extras and put the game beyond CH's reach. They're getting uh, candy to 32 points. The key stats of the game, CH and FC 24 points to Candy's uh, 32. Candy scoring four bonus points twice, CH scoring two. Candy's conversions, uh, Tarindra Ratwa missed one conversion but came good. Uh, with the other three adding on two penalties as well Netamin of uh, CHNFC putting in four penalties and a conversion kept CHNFC in the game but it was that try by Srinath Surya Bandara the Black Knight player of the match which really took the game away from CHNFC it's an, it has been an incredible game isn't it Abdel and if, uh, judging by how well these four teams are playing and how competitive this league has turned out to be in this second round we are in for a, a treat come the next two weeks absolutely and it just shows that on their day each team can beat each other isn't it so next week we'll have uh, candy once again coming down to Colombo take on Havelocks while CHNFC will uh, take a little bit of confidence probably be a bit disappointed and a bit hurt from this performance against Candy but will want to take it out against their neighbours next week we'll be back here at Racecourse for that game as well Yes, so all in all, it's set up for a wonderful uh, couple of weeks, as you said, Sudarshana. Yes, the Maitland Rab Derby, um, Abdullah, hometown bragging rights on offer, and uh, CHNFC will consider themselves a, uh, a very good. They will consider their season a very good one if they can try and get over CRNFC, who've already beaten Candy, and um, that will set up a real finger licking. Uh, battle when it comes to the final week of the league uh, but uh, for now that's all we have to bring you from uh, the race course it's been an absolute pleasure bringing you this game I'm Sudarshan Apir is signing off alongside Abdullah Yusuf and the popular.com technical and the production teams from the race course until we meet next time
What did you see? It's big. We're gonna make it home. Make sure you're not late for dinner. Buckle up. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. The digital youth account, NDBZ, NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. It's quite an atmosphere. Rugby's greatest championship. Oh. 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 First and exclusive, music fades, but art is for keeps. Dominic Toretto, you're about to learn all about fear. Boom. This is incredible, sick, and it's all ours. If you can get this team to the Special Olympics Finals, you might be ready to be back in the NBA. First and exclusive, all new on Saturdays. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved, Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. Presenting DP World ILT 20 Season 2. Start January 19th, 8 p.m. Live on the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z Z. We KYC. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Hot and spicy fun by Big Up Ever Karanda. We take a remake Karanda to win the. Hot and hot and fun with Ayanna. Get me the fashion Karanda. Fun, fun, fun with Karanda. Got to be kick it to win the. Prima, got to me. Fun to me. Your clan, all the samurai, they need you now more than ever. What did you see? It's big. We're gonna make it home. Make sure you're not late for dinner. Buckle up. Protect your home from harmful bacteria. Nippon Paint Medifresh, a powerful combination of silver and zinc ions. Nippon Paint, the coatings expert.
Introducing NeosPay, a fun way to make payments from your Neos app. For the fun of paying, hashtag NeosPaid. England, back to conquer India? Or will India wield their money? The cricketing showdown of the year. England takes on India in an epic test series that promises passion, rivalry and unforgettable moments. England Tour of India, 2nd February to 11th March, live on the Papare TV and Dialogue Viewer, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. The Digital Youth Account, NDBZ, NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. The new year will be met with fanfare. No one's going to sleep. There'll be fireworks all around. I need all kinds of food. Even ice trays will be in short supply. No stone will be left unturned. The first T20 challenge of the new year is here. Presenting DP World ILT20 Season 2. Live on the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. 